Hi guys, welcome to our channel Fast Cabling. Now, are you looking for ways to simplify your security civilian systems? Today, we receive a case from a large organization. They need to manage their multiple NVR in their security system. Now, let's see what happened to them. Our customer's business site has to install 40 cameras around the building with 4 NVRs. He hoped that we can assist him to streamline their civilian operations by combining multiple NVRs onto a single display, allowing for seamless operation and monitoring. In another word, he wants a single display for those 40 cameras to control and view and using hotspot for monitoring. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to operate and monitor multiple NVR in a single display. And it will make your security system more efficient and user friendly. Now, if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description below because we can provide system design for completely free of charge. So if your business is getting bigger and bigger, that means more and more cameras are required. Now a single NVR may not have enough storage capacity and ability to handle a large number of cameras. So you need to add multiple NVRs at this point. However, adding multiple NVRs can become difficult to manage and monitor all the cameras at the same time. So by combining them on a single display can give you easier way to monitor and manage the cameras from a single location. Imagine if you have a small control room and you have like 40 cameras, what can you do? You cannot add like 10 monitors in the control room. So in this case, combining all the cameras onto one single display will be so much easier. And also, it can give you greater scalability. It allows you to add additional NVR in the future easily. So without saying, let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you how to do the whole setup. So here we are in front of the demonstration board and behind me is the whole setup. It's not that complicated, right? So I'm going to do the connection in just a minute, but before that, I have to first explain what kind of devices that we need, so bear with me a little. You can see I have four IP cameras here stick onto the wall. Our customer is installing 40 cameras. That will be too much for us. So let's say just four for now, and they're connected to the PoE switch. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. So when we connect the PoE switch with the PoE enabled devices like our cameras here, first the switch would determine how much power they need and sends the power over along with the data. So isn't it great? Because it can eliminate your needs for separate power supply. So only four Ethernet cables are required here. There's no external power set. Next, I'm connecting the PoE switch with four NVR here. NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. It allows you to record and storage video footage that captured by the switch from the camera. So you may wonder, how can we combine all the cameras and NVRs onto a single screen? And you can see I have a really small screen here, probably smaller than your television in the living room. So how can we do that? In this case, we need this. Ta-da! This is the multi-viewer. The multi-viewer allows multiple video streams to be displayed on a single monitor. It works by taking input from multi-video source like the NVR. And let's turn to the back here. You can see it has one to nine HDMI port. The nine HDMI port and one input port here. The 4K multi-viewer can display up to nine channels on a single HD display. 
and in the back in the front actually this is the front we have so many buttons here it enables nine hdmi input screen segmentation with different preset screen layout and i'm going to show you how to lay out after we're done with the connection so without saying let's do it together let's go through the connection backward remember i have four ip cameras here connected to four ethernet cable to our poe switch now another four to connect with my nvr and i already have power soft in so all i need to do is using the hdmi cord to connect with my multi viewer you see i have the number here labeled on the cord because i want to know which and VR represent which channel. That's why I label them. Now it's all plugged in. The HDMI port is connecting with the multi viewer. And these are the button and I will show you later what do they do. Now I'm going to connect four ports here out of nine. Let me do the connection. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to connect the power source and the HDMI output port with my monitor. Put in power on now for the monitor. And it's searching for power already. Boom, the cameras are on. And let me show you, this is a live camera. So I'm going to wave my hands here and you can see all four cameras. Now, remember I'm going to show you what the button do. It looks pretty complicated, right? But actually it's not. We have nine button here for it represent each channel. If I press one, we will have channel one on big screen. My channel one is connected to the mouse so I can do the setting. And if I press four, I have channel four here. Channel four is connected with two IP cameras. And we have a mode button here. If we press this one, you can change the layout on your screen. And it also come with a remote control. So it's pretty handy, right? All you need to do is sit there and press the button so you can change the channel three and four. If we want to have multiple channel, you just press a larger number to have more channels you, i have all four channels now on the screen so it's pretty handy so i'm all set with all the setups now i have four cameras and four nvr connected with the multi viewer to display all the images and if you have to install even more cameras you can watch the video here on how to control and display 100 cameras and thank you so much for listening and watching and i'll see you next time